How about an Instagram command? This video is proudly sponsored by Oxide Hosting. With this hosting company, you can never go wrong. They provide outstanding customer support and all for a low price. Their services range from website hosting to Minecraft server hosting. If you are interested in them, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Hey, it's me, Dunzelatry, and welcome back to another Menudoc tutorial. Today, we are going to create an Instagram command that shows some information about the user's Instagram page and their latest picture if they have one. So let's get started with that. First of all, we are going to make a new Java class. We're going to call this Instagram command. This class will, of course, implement i command. The name will be Instagram. And let's set some aliases as well. So, in this case, I only want one alias. So, Insta. And the help is going to be shows instagram statistics of a user with the latest image in the user's instagram username so let's get some basics worked out first like things that we need for example the arguments and the text channel and let's also plop in this code which will get which will check if the arguments are empty and we'll grab the username in the variable usn. So right now it is a good idea to look at the API that we're going to use. The API that we're going to use is my own API proxy that I specifically created for this task. Because if you have ever looked at the Instagram command, it's just a cluster of fuck of GraphQL queries. This API returns it in a nice consistent format. So let's go quickly over what we have over here uh, we have the user details and the profile picture url and then we have all the uh, and then we have the like the latest 10 images of the user so i'm just going to copy this url and let's get started on our web request so webutils.instance.get a json object and we want to replace my username with usn and we're gonna say async then we're gonna get the JSON scooped up right there. And now that we have the JSON, we need to check if the success variable is false. And if that is, we need to display a message to the user. To get an idea what this message should be, we should look at the API documentation of the API. So let's see, let's just check out a random error response where the uh, success variable is false. For example, in a uh, 429 on the NPM endpoint, uh, we get the error and we get the message. And let's see what happens over here when we, for example, plop in a username that probably does not exist. We get a nice message that says this Instagram account does not exist and the error is false. So that's good. The error format is consistent. So what we can do then is channel or send message. We get the error from the JSON. Then we get the message from the JSON and we get that as text and we queue that off to send to the user. Let's go back to a user that does exist and let's start working on grabbing the data that we need. So first of all, we need the user object itself. So json.get user. Uh, next up, we need the username, so user.get username, and this is a string, so we want to say as text. We also want to get the profile picture, the user's bio or biography. We want to check if the account is private. We also want to get the following and followers count. And lastly, we want to get the uploads count. And as you can see, all these variables are within the JSON over here. Uh, you can also take the full name if you want or uh, get the isVerified one. 
you you can do whatever what you want with this data next up we want to create an embed builder so embed utils dot default embed and let's create a variable from this i'm just gonna call this embed we're gonna set a title and we're gonna also set a url the url will be https colon for source slash www dot instagram dot com slash username and you may have noticed that I put www dot here this is because Instagram redirects you to this subdomain anyway so why not put it there in the first place we're also gonna set the title which is Instagram info of username next up we're going to set a thumbnail which is the pro file picture and we're going to set a description and let's do a string dot format I already have the format already off screen so I'm just gonna grab that because I don't want to type it out again as you can see we have a few things we have the private account we have the bio we have following followers and uploads so what we can do for this is we can say is private uh, biography following followers and uploads now all we basically need to do is get the latest image of the user and for that we're gonna scroll down here and create a little helper function so private string get latest image json node json and first of all we want to check if the json node is not an array because if it is an object we can't get any images from it and you probably pass the wrong thing to it so if it's not an array we're gonna return null. This is just a safety check which should never happen in the first place because it always is an array. Next up, we're gonna check if the size is zero. Unfortunately, JSON node does not have a is empty method, but size equals zero is basically the same. So and if it is, we return null. And if all these things evaluate to false, we can just return json.get the first image. We're gonna get the URL and we're gonna get it as text. Because as you can see in the images array, there are plenty of objects with URL, a page URL to the actual page of the picture and a caption if you want that. So now that this is done, we can say dot set image, get latest image, json dot get. And the, and the array that we want to get is called images. And now basically, we just need to send it so channel dot send message embed dot build and we're gonna queue this off now let's register the Instagram command and I will see you back in discord so now that our bot is ready we can say exclamation mark exclamation mark Instagram and you say you must provide a username to look up uh, sure let's look up myself and there it is my latest picture my profile picture my biography following uploads things and private account is false you know what let's let's look up menu docs as well as you can see it has zero uploads and because we checked with the empty array nothing will error out right now and it will just display fine so right now let's check out a private account so Instagram I hope this person does not mind that I'm using it this you can see it says private accounts true and there's no bio here and I know this user has uploads uh, I'm gonna blur these all out but as you can see this user does actually have uploads but because the user is a private account the bots cannot access them but this true false thing is not very pretty is it would be nice if you could like take some of these emotes you know like a yes or a no emote but I like these slider right and slider left emotes so 
slider uh, right. Okay, can I turn it off? Slider right. We need to prefix that with a backslash so we don't get the emote, but we get the emote mention. So in our Instagram command, what we want to do is private string to emote boolean bool. I'm going to say return boolean, which is going to make this a short operator. The slider right. And let's also get the slider left. Slider left. And as you can see, that slider left for our false emoji. Uh, the reason that we take this format is because this is what the bot needs to post in the chat. If we do a quick evaluation and let's split the string. Uh, so, our, so I don't mention the emote like this. Let's try that again. Uh, channel dot send message. Let's do that like that. Let's do it like that. That sent a message with the slider right. Oh, actually slider left. Um, and as you can see, it mentions the emotes. If we just were to do slider left without all the other stuff, you would see that it would just say colon slider left colon. This is because of the markdown format. Now that we have this method ready, we can say to emote is private. Let's restart the bot. And now we can check Connor's Instagram, for example. And as you can see, Connor also has a private account. And that's why we can't see his uploads. We can see that he has 400 followers and he follows 660 people. So that's how you can really easily make an Instagram command. If you like this tutorial, leave a like, subscribe to Menudocs if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time with another tutorial. Bye!